And welcome to your Gold Market Update for today, the 20th of July, with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets. And let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, US markets were very strong yesterday. The Nasdaq and the S&P 500 both rose in excess of 3%, the Dow about 2.5% to the upside. Really, this is based on earnings optimism, a belief that the bottom may be in, and broad-based gains were seen across all sectors. We've also seen Netflix report earnings after hours, and they have done particularly well. The market seems to have responded well to that particular number. Of course, we've got many, many more earnings reports to come out over the next couple of weeks, but at this stage, things look to be better than expected. US futures are positive in Asia on the back of those Netflix earnings, and Asian indices are following that strong US lead. The ASX is up around about 1.3%. And European futures are also suggesting a higher open this afternoon. On that equity strength, we saw some weakness in the USD. The US dollar index dropping to two-week lows. It's a little lower again in Asia as we've seen some risk on trading across the board with all of those traditional risk on assets doing fairly well. An exception to this is gold, which is still hovering just above 1700 which is around 40 month lows. Of course, if we do break that level, the next support is around the 1675 level where the weekly 200 EMA sits. All rows again, we are seeing it trading still below 110, but that's fairly significant bounce in the last couple of days. The VIX has paused at around about that 25 key level, slightly lower yesterday again to hit one month lows. And copper edged higher to 330, maybe reversing technically. Remember, it has been on the receiving end of some selling pressure for some time now. One of the surprises of the day was Bitcoin moving through resistance to around about 23,000. That's one month highs on Bitcoin across the board. We've seen some buying coming back into cryptos. We need to hold this level really to see some more buying pressure come in, but the signs are certainly suggestive of this being worth some consideration for short-term traders. US earnings obviously continue to ramp up and we're seeing more of the big players reporting tonight. Remember, this week is really about some of the bigger industrials as well as the banks. On the data front, we've got the PBOC interest rate decision and statement. No change there in terms of the rate. Later on, we've got PPI data out of Germany and the UK. UK and Canadian CPI numbers and US housing all out later, giving the market plenty to digest on a day where positivity is undoubtedly the major vibe. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye today. On the ASX, we are interested in Zip, which has really been under significant pressure. If we just take it right back since the middle of last year and has given up an amazing amount of value and is now trading under a dollar. However, if we just bring this up again, you can see that perhaps a bottom is in. We did see a couple of analysts upgrades last week, which suggested that this may be phenomenally oversold. And if we look at this technically, you can see not only the short term moving averages crossed, but we're at highs not seen since the beginning of June. So six week highs on zip and you can see there's some buying pressure coming into this today after a couple of days of pausing around that 58 resistance so we think this could go and if it does the potential upside is massive some caution of course this is a volatile stock and has been on the back end of some major selling over previous months be interesting to see how much short covering uh, assists in this move up but certainly for short-term traders worth some consideration in the FX markets, we are looking at the GB pound Australian dollar. And you can see really this has been in a wide trading range of around about 450 pips since the middle of March. And its latest test of the bottom of that range seems to be done now at this stage, but we are watching this candle interestingly on the daily chart. And if we just pop this on a 30 minute chart, you can see we've got a rounded bottom formation here. And we're looking potentially for a move over this 7430 level to suggest that this move will continue to the upside. There's possibly around about 44 pips in this in the first instance, perhaps, if we do get some GB pound strength. 
Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.